Okay, so we're playing with Josephine. Uh, because it's a bit easier to use in here, I want to try it out in Challenge Arena first. So what we can do with her is counter CC and counter mana increase. And as you can see, there is both actually. So Louise will do a lot of CC, Juno will do a lot of mana increase, and even Sharon actually has an Oblivion there, so it will count as CC as well. And I want to see how easy it is uh, to win against this stuff. For example, one thing that I usually do, right? Oh, would that work? Nah, actually, I think Juno will cleanse. Like, I would like uh, to use Water Clip, right? And Water Clip stacks a lot of debuffs. And usually, Juno will keep rocking her cleanse. But I realized that she will also should probably gonna cleanse that mana up, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the um, water element and we'll see how it goes. I mean, whichever skill Juno uses, uh, if she uses a cleanse, it's a guaranteed mana increase. If she uses the strip, uh, she will most likely increase. So yeah, um, what else can I pick here? I think just going for the standard fire one is also a shout, right? I mean, the fire one is just so insane. And uh, we can go for some damage dealer, I suppose. If Fengan is a decent choice, he will get stripped, but also he will receive a lot of mana, so... Yeah, I don't know. Triple frontline, a bit of a scuff team, but sure. Yeah, let's try. I'll go for the Sharon, I'll try to blind her so she doesn't land anything, and... If I blind her, uh, most of her like basic attack usage goes down as well, so yeah, we'll see. Ah, oh, come here. Okay, I would like you to not use the skills. Did I blind her? Okay, so... Josephine! Oh, she did something! She procced! Now, here's the deal. Did he proc... Okay, cleanse all of that. Please cleanse me. That's annoying. I mean, Cliff is dead. I don't know where from. Probably from the Feng Yan. But, yeah, he's dead. Ah, we do a little cleanse, a little heal. Is he getting mana up though? I'm not seeing any mana ups. Did Juno just not strip or cleanse? I don't know what happened there. Wait, let me try her. Oh wait, that's not a provoke. Wait, what does the skill 2 do? Wait, hold up. Wait, what does it do? Oh, it gives a shield. Wait, that's not the provoke skill. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm a bit confused. What does the skill 2 do? I know skill 1 is the provoke. Skill 2 is the shield, right? How much damage did she do? Yeah, she didn't do any damage. And the problem with that is she is built on HP-based damage. It's not a lot of damage, but she is built on HP-based damage. So I'm a bit disappointed that she did that low. Like, she has like 160 crit damage, 150, right? I mean, it's not a lot, but it's still a crit damage build. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, she gets a full cleanse, a shield, and counter attack. So I don't need that on... Uh, what's it called? Souling. And with counter attack, she can... So you can, I guess, keep buffing to remove invincibility shield, spell shield. It doesn't remove immunity though, so it's kind of worthless in most cases. Okay, let's try one more and I'll jump into RTA or Brawl Arena, as they say. Another Juno, there we go. And oh wow, this guy is bare strong. Okay, so her, he has a lot of... Now, in this situation, I would bring a Juno myself, but I cannot with Josephine in mind. So we need some way to counter Feng Yan. I would bring a Tiana, but I cannot bring that either. Oh, wow, this is getting a bit annoying. Um, oh, let me think. Okay, you know what? It's gonna be almost a mirror matchup, but here's the deal. I'm banking that uh, the increased mana cost from Josephine's passive on Juno will be enough to push me over to win, right? We'll see, because I am much lower power, so he does have either a way better summoner, it's most likely a better summoner, and a little bit better monsters. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how impactful that mana up thingy is, right? I'm gonna target the Joe's pin, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, she's silenced! Oh, that is so unfortunate. Oh, I would love to use the skill with affiliate. Oh, there we go. She actually. Okay, you use it yourself, and we do a little. He does have level 4 mana up! <gasps> 
it's massive and we buff up defense with Ophelia meaning we get a lot okay he lost he lost the thing he lost the thing he lost the man up okay we just do some cleansing we just do some cleansing we do more cleansing we do more cleansing now do the provoke as well he has level four mana up again oh he has no chance he has block cleanses whoa that is strong that is such an insane juno counter it's not even funny oh wow look at that wait ophelia is tagging level 10 burn on juno hold up where's that coming from is that juno okay wait provoke oh i mean she's gonna miss on her oh wow oh wow that mana up is insane that mana up is insane there's literally no chance anyone can use like a juno again like you cannot let the josephine through if you are using a juno whoa whoa okay okay you know what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna try countering a josephine i want to see what it's like to fight against her and what i'm gonna do is i will bring a tiana now tiana is she is one of the better strip options but uh she does have a 50 percent chance to gain mana it's only 50 percent, so it only happens uh once every two times on average right her ult will increase mana so we will not ult with her but this has a 50 percent. i want to see whether tiana is still kind of usable right because i have a feeling that she might not be also the problem is all cleave skill trees will have provoke so it will trigger josephine's passive regardless uh so what else can we pick okay yeah i'll go with ophelia for the last pick i feel like yeah 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 because yeah. i need to kill that etna first once the etna is dead i should be able to survive it because he doesn't have any strip uh adriel is just sustained josephine she won't be stripping too much i mean she cannot yeah she cannot strip too well uh we're gonna try to target her you see that's the problem i my cliff stunned my cliff stunned with his first skill i didn't even know he can stun but he did i did not use that skill oops okay i didn't get mana i didn't get mana this time i didn't get mana this time with tiana uh we're gonna do one more strip and i didn't get mana this time i didn't get mana this time again interesting interesting now i'm gonna switch to water cleave oh wow that push uh we're gonna do super strip i didn't get mana again strip oh that, now i got mana now i got mana okay so if you got a cleanser let's say my affiliate maybe will cleanse how bad is it how bad is it it lasts for a long time but yeah she cleanses right i then i use another strip and I'm gonna use another strip. Another strip? Wow, another strip. Wow, another strip. Okay, then, I mean, my RNG is something else. Another strip. Okay, so. Wait, was she dead? How long was she dead for? But yeah, ah. Uh, Tiana is definitely still usable, I would say. At least in Challenge Arena, right? Maybe not in Brawl as much, but in Challenge Arena, you can definitely still make do with a Tiana. Okay, let's try Brawl Arena. Ooh, okay, so we are fighting a Josephine this time, and I did bring a Tiana, so I want to see how effective she works in Brawl. Because, I mean, in Challenge, you can still, like, manipulate the order a bit, but in Brawl Arena, you have no excuse. Like, uh, whatever happens, happens. Okay, I, may, I learned my mistake. I was a bit too aggressive in most of these cases. Okay, I didn't get mana. I didn't get mana up. I didn't get mana up. We are Gucci. I would love a heal from Ophelia right now. So please do one. Love that. Love that. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just kill... Well, she's being very aggressive, you know? Although I am dead as well. So that's... Oh, can three monsters win against Salata? Oh, look at her root! Oh, Root completely counters her. Oh, look, good Oblivion. Good Oblivion. <laughs> ah, 
that brute is insane. Because she cannot run around and she cannot heal because of the root. Wow, Josephine. So she went very aggressively. And if you bring that opponent team away from them, she kind of just can't do much. Because like, think about it. She provokes, right? Everyone starts attacking her. She doesn't really have that much safety, right? Like, yes, she does have a shield from here. She gets a shield. Full cleanse, right? Uh, sure, someone will definitely do a CC effect, something like Sharon. Uh, I think Feng Yang can knock you up as well, right? Can it knock up? Yeah, Airbone. Airbone is a CC effect, I believe. Yeah. So, the CC effect will get activated most of the time. But after that, like, what can she do? That is a 30 second cooldown on the passive, right? She doesn't have uh, a defense buff, I believe. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough for her if uh, if she's not healed or anything like that. It's gonna be pretty rough. Oh, you know what? I kind of like this pick. If an opponent goes like this, like Josephine, and then an obvious pick that increases mana, right? You can instantly, first of all, know that he will ban one of those, so it eliminates a little bit of doubt there. Second of all, what I really like about it, oh, do I need? Yeah, I do need to. Uh, you can pick a unit yourself, and if he leaves the Josephine, he will get countered, but you will get countered as well. Or uh, you can pretty much know that he will ban uh, the... what's it called? Uh, what's it called? What's it called? He will ban the uh, mana increaser himself. So yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of like a strategy. Okay, Amatiano is dead, but can I maybe kill the Edna real quick? Am I able to push this through? Oh, I did, I did, not bad. Uh, can we kill the Zerato though? Can we kill the good old Zerato? Uh, lands... Did you land the heal block? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, Fong Yen, oh, Fong Yen, you are about to pop off. Fong Yen, do your thing, do your thing. Feng Yan, good job! Oh, a keen abuser? A keen abuser that does not pick Panda himself? Mistake, my brother! Mistake! Oh, I'm gonna have used the Wind Panda. Yes! I I, I take the Wind Panda out of spite. <laughs> nah, JK, JK. Look at that damage. Yeah. Ooh. Unfortunately, yeah, he banned it, but... I feel like... You know what? Josephine? I feel like she is more of a unit not to be played but to be drafted, right? Like, there's so many mind games, so much mind games when it comes to drafting Josephine because in most cases you're counting yourself, like in a lot of cases, like you pick a Josephine, Juno is gone, Tiana is gone, uh, Windsilf is gone, like so many strip options are gone. And you either sort of try to force a ban or you can pick a mana unit, do some mind games there, like, it's so interesting, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's nuts, nuts. <laughs> I feel like she, she added a lot of complexity to draft, and I kind of like it, because previously it was just pick OP units, pick units that counter an element, win. And now it's like, whoa. <laughs> oh, okay, so he's gonna ban one of these, and I feel like he is gonna ban Sean. Because I doubt he would ban Josephine into double strip, right? So she he bans Shan. I will ban my Juno because she will not do well into double water. And also she has a very high chance to... And I am completely confused. What? Wait, you pick Shan into Josephine? You're gonna get countered, mate. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Does he know? Does he know he's gonna get completely countered, or... Wait, does he know? Wait, let me see, let me see. I wanna see the reaction. Does he know he's gonna get completely countered by Sean? I mean, I got countered. Wow, well, Mantiana unfortunately rolled a bad number, and she... Yeah, she... Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing good, I'm not doing good, let me say that. But, Peng, I got some hope in you. Do some damage. Oh, we pick a Shan. Unfortunately, he didn't. 
He didn't get a single mana up from Sean. Wait. Wait, now I am confused a bit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Sean has mana up. Oh, you know what? Did he use Sean as a souling unit and only spam the other skill? Could that be it? Oh, why? I think, yeah, I think Yan should win this. I think that, see, like, there's so much mind game here. Like, you pick Josephine. He picks Sean. Sean gets mana buff. I pick a unit that counters Joseph, or rather gets countered by Josephine as well. So now he is like, well, maybe I should keep Josephine in. But if he keeps Josephine in, he cannot use Sean. So I kind of force a Sean ban that way. But if he picks both, he cannot use a skill. And that way I completely lock him out of being able to use a certain skill. Which means that he is forced to use a unit and so on. That's so fun. I don't know. That is so fun. It's so fun to play with Josephine and against Josephine. And I would say it's more fun to play against Josephine. Because there's like so much mind games happening. Oh, what a sick unit. Actually, what a fun unit. Nice. Okay, and to finish it off, uh, we're gonna try it in Siege. So in this one, the Wind Sylph is actually... It has a lot of mana regen speed up. And uh, she should counter the mana regen speed up. Yeah, mana regen speed up and down counters both. So whenever the Wind Sylph uses skill 2, uh, he should receive a lot of mana up. And apart from that, uh, these two I don't feel like will be too scary. Laika, he could counter, but first of all I'm running Sharon, so she should be able to heal block him. And there's only one cleanse, so it shouldn't be too much. And also what I found is when Ophelia uses her root, and if the Laika is uh, stuck, he basically cannot counter attack, so I can just bound him and he won't at least that's how it looked in the previous match i don't know if that's actually the case but that's how it looked in the previous arena fight uh, i didn't record it because uh the josephine was banned but yeah i think that might be the case so yeah we're gonna test her out here we'll see how it works out we will go for orbia because i would go for the wind sylph to prevent all of those uh roots and stuff but we don't really want to prevent the roots right Okay, I'm gonna let her use the root. I mean, everyone's dead. Uh, he has... Does he have level... Mo Wait, let me see. Did the Sylph even use the thing? Uh, I think I, I either missed it or he didn't. It could be either of the two, honestly. Hmm. Well, I don't know if she used it. But, I mean, she did fight in the front line. So, I was a bit more focused on Orbia. But maybe you saw her do something. Uh... Not looking good in damage, but hopefully she at least provoked or something, right? Because the fire one doesn't have provoke, so uh, only me and Josephine had the provoke in that one. But yeah, overall, I don't know. I like her. I like her. I, I, I don't like her too much as a unit, like her active skills. Um, I am not a big fan of the active skills, but this is sick. I love her just for the ban and pick phase. Maybe you are someone who is able to make her active skills work well. For me, she is there just to uh, be picked or be picked by opponent or by myself. And the cool thing about that is just because she counters the opponent as well. Uh, even if you don't first pick her, she can work really well. Like as long as she is in the draft, it changes a lot, right? It doesn't matter who picks it. Uh, the cool thing is that the ban after that, you can make some nasty combos. You can, for example, if you pick a Juno and Josephine, you can either ban a Josephine and uh, let your Juno on other mana increases go through. Or you can ban a Juno. And for example, if I see there is a Josephine and a Juno, I will like, maybe I can gamble and let my something like a Tiana go through. And you ban a Juno, I leave a Josephine, and I leave a Diana, and I am royally screwed, right? So yeah, interest, interesting unit, interesting unit. A little bit better if picked by you, of course, but 
yeah, he changes the meta a lot. Wow, it eliminates a lot of meta units. If Juno is gone. Tiana is sort of gone. Windsilph, I am very scared for Windsilph. He just received a buff and this would be, like, this skill will be massive when immunity set comes out from hero dates. And instantly getting nerfed for, by Josephine could be a bit scary, yeah? I don't know. Interesting unit, interesting unit. I like it. Uh, I would recommend summoning it if you don't have it. Even if you, like, don't rune her up. Honestly, you can just keep her at level 80, level 70, whenever it comes out. And not even rune her up. And, yeah, even if you pick it and then self-ban it later, it just adds uh, way more complexity to the graph. But, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go feast on some food at 11pm. And, peace.